Let's force them to play some one-on-one -on -one basketball in the post, but then they were able to score. And so then we had to do some things of, of trapping the post, digging at the post, raiding the post. And then North Texas did a nice job of getting it out, spinning it, and finding some open looks. And some guys that don't typically take a lot of shots made some. And so then it causes you to adjust and try to come out a little bit further. Then they got some dribble penetration, but we, we were not, we did not show great resistance on the defensive end. Yeah, it, and again, they're a challenge, the way they play, and they have a good, they have a way of limiting ball reversals to try to get to the other side. And then you look at their stats, they take away three-point shots. They run out at you and they try to funnel you to a side, and then they bring a lot of help. And they're, they're disciplined, they've been doing this for a number of years, of getting walls and just building you know, where you have not a lot of windows to pass it to. I thought we made a couple plays, but not enough. And then also, I thought once we got behind, we, we tried to, we rushed ourselves. Cause you, and it's hard to rush against North Texas. You've got you to get off to a better start. And, and that's, that's what's disappointing. Um, we just got to be able to play better from the beginning and then just make it a game where it's, you know, tug and pull. You know, I'm, I'm not going to make any excuses. I mean, I, I think that they they were just flat out tougher and more physical than us tonight. And that's that's something that we've got to improve on. That's what I told our team in the locker room. Like, I'm, uh, I, I think the time is over for, for talking about, you know, the age and this. We've played enough basketball now. Um, guys have enough experience. We've watched enough video and had 80-some practices since September. Like, we, we've got to know what this is about. Every time this year when you've had a lopsided loss like you had last Saturday, you come out and you bounce back in the next game with a really strong effort. Whether you win or lose, it's been a strong effort. So was it especially surprising tonight to see what had hap what happened with the slow start and everything? Very disappointed, Barry. I, I, you know, the this is a unique team to play. They just have a, a – it's a unique game plan. Um, there's very few teams in college basketball that play like this. And so I was very concerned about that because the ability to get out in transition and, and play and, and get some of those energy moments. And for our team, as I've told them, like we, we want to continue to have energy moments offensively, but we need to have more energy moments defensively. And we didn't get those tonight because there are opportunities to make plays on that end too. And so just disappointed that, that we weren't able to be more competitive from the start. I still thought that there were some moments to get back into the game. But again, credit North Texas for the way that they, they just squeeze you and, and, and make you feel like, hey, I've, I've got to escape here at this moment and try to make something happen. And I thought we got out of sorts that way. Well, UAB is another good team, but, but more than anything and any team that we play, we, we've got to come with a mindset of we, we've got to make the defensive end more important. And, and it's not, yes, there, there's, there's things that we've got to grow into, but um, just the, the passion required, the intensity required, the, the effort there, um, and it's still going to be hard. Even when you do those things in this league, I mean, you, it's still going to be hard. And so we've just got to be more relentless in our pursuit of the next play, and we need to get it more on the defensive end. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.